Welcome to the town of Orid. It has a population of about 50,000 inhabitants. And it is situated in southwestern North Macedonia on the shores of Lake Orid, which makes it the most visited town in Macedonia. Aside from the natural beauty of the area, one of the reasons why uh, Macedonians in particular like to visit Orid is because it has a more Mediterranean climate in relative to the rest of the country. But Lake Orid is much more than a lakeside vacation destination. It is both a UNESCO cultural and natural world heritage site. It has significant historical and religious importance for this area. Some people have even even call it the Jerusalem of the Balkans. The fortress where we currently are, which sits above the town, has history that dates back all the way to the 3rd century BC. When it served as the fortress for the ancient city of Lichnidos, of the Macedonian people. Also built in the 3rd century BC was this antique theater, which was later used by the Romans when they conquered the area. The theater could hold up to 5,000 people and would be host to gladiator duels. But this area here is probably the most important site in Orid. The church of Plauschnik. This is where the first university in Europe was started. And it is also where the Cyrillic alphabet was created which is an alphabet that is used by the majority of countries in Eastern Europe. Ored was one of the more important religious centers in this part of the world. <laughs> in the 17th century, Ottoman traveler Evliya Celebi wrote that there were 365 churches in Orid, one for every day of the year. Today that number has significantly decreased, but Orid still has a staggering number of churches relative to its population. This is the Church of Saint Sophia. It is one of the largest medieval churches. When the Ottomans 
conquered the area, they actually had temporarily converted it to a mosque. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour in the history of Ored. It is definitely a cool place to be, proven by the fact that the official residence of North Macedonia's president is here in Ored. And just by the amount of tourists you see here is uh, much more than anywhere I've seen in uh, Macedonia. And I've been to Skopje, capital city, uh, to Bitola, the second largest city in, uh, in North Macedonia. And I've made videos of both those places. I'm sure Ored is even busier during the summer when one can swim in the lake, uh, which is, uh, uh, someone's told me uh, the water is very clean and even drinkable. And you can actually take a boat to islands on the lake. Definitely a cool last stop on my journey through North Macedonia, a country that in general is worth uh, visiting. I have a longer video on my channel called Journey Through North Macedonia where I bicycle through the country. In that video you can see how beautiful the country is, what the landscapes look like. What, what the people are like, which is very nice, and what things cost, which is to say very cheap. And this was all part of a larger journey, bicycling through Central and Eastern Europe. This is the Robev uh, Museum here, which I hear good things about. And before this journey, I bicycled from Cape Town, South Africa, to Nairobi, Kenya. It's so bicycling through. Uh, half the African continent and before that I bicycled from Canada where I'm from all the way to southern Patagonia in Argentina and the videos from all those adventures are on this same YouTube channel Hum of the Earth and if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I went and everything that I got to see and do 
That is available over on my website, followthehumofthearth.com, where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of these places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures, once again bicycling through Central and Eastern Europe, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video and then clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. All right, so I think that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.